bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, earlier on today, I made a video on um, stirring up the prophetic, and I also pray for um, sons and daughters um, so that they can flow in the prophetic. And then, um, since I'm chanced today a little, um, there's also another question which uh, one of my sons just asked on the comment section in one of the videos of uh, um, seeing when he wants to prophesy and he goes close to somebody, he sees a lot of things all at the same time. Now, I'm supposed to have made this video, all right? I'm supposed to have made this one because it's part of um, the experiences that some persons will have, especially depending on the tribes you fall into, okay? So, um, it's part of um, the way the prophetic message can come as well. So, sometimes um, prophetic messages, I remember that in the video I was talking about God speaking using mathematics using um, mathematical terms sometimes um, it, uh, when God wants to reveal the age of a person he can just say 17 plus 25 he can just say 17 plus 25 minus 5 you see you will just be seeing the mathematics in the realm of the spirit sometimes I prophesy and I, I the prophetic also will pray through this medium sometimes there are times where God wants to show me the number of people in the family who said 9 minus 4 or you can say 5 plus 1. Alright, you can see. So these are different things. And sometimes it could happen that in this prophetic, in the realm of the spirit, sometimes the prophetic messages are scattered. So I'm basically giving answer to um, the question that was asked. Alright, so because there are a lot of persons as well. I think uh, another somebody else also asked this kind of question and I said I will make the video, but I think... Um, I couldn't remember to do it. So now, I want to answer this very, very quickly. When you are seeing a lot of things in the spirit, what you first of all need to do is to make a prophetic rearrangement before you make the declaration. All right? So now, for instance, there are certain animals when you see in the spirit, they are passing certain prophetic messages. All right? And others are giving direct message. For instance, when you see... An animal like you see animal like dove you see eagle you see lion you see snake you see um, you see um, uh, what do they call this uh, a dragon now all these are carrying prophetic messages these are they are not direct message that um, this is the animal or um, they are speak the prophetic is coming because of the animal but there is a message behind those um, living things that you are seeing. So when you see um, um, an animal like um, a lion, for instance, is speaking about um, authority. Is speaking about God delegating authority. When you see, when you want to pray for somebody and you see lion, it means that God is taking the person to the place of authority, the place of leadership, the place of kingship. All right. When you see a dove. It means the Holy Ghost. The person needs the Holy Ghost, and and if you, depending on how you see the dove, if the dove is coming upon the person or the dove is sitting on the person, it means that the Holy Spirit is coming greatly upon the person. All right. If you see the dove flying away, it means that the Holy Ghost is leaving the person. All right. And when you see snake, snake um, depicts witchcraft. Snake depicts witchcraft. All right. And temptation. So when you see snakes, the person need to be careful of. Uh, witchcraft powers and temptation that the devil want to bring the person's way. So, you see, these are different ways of interpreting this uh, prophetic message. When you see an ego, it means the person has something related to the prophetic, right? The person has a gift that is related to the prophetic. And when you see, there are some animals that when you see them, it's actually giving meaning, a direct meaning. It's giving a direct meaning, like um, when you see an animal like a goat, for instance, it is a message God is passing to you about somebody's property. All right, it could be direct as a goat. I remember a time um, back then in, in Benue State, in, in one, of, one of our local church, um, during one of the services, I was praying and, and I was giving prophecy. Then I a goat appeared before me. The, the, the goat just appeared in the realm of the spirit before me. And the goat has no significant meaning when it comes to 
passing prophetic message. And so I had to tell them that I'm seeing a goat. And then we have to pray against um, um, properties to be stolen. And unknowingly to me, there is this uh, member who was not in that service that um, I think traveled or, or went to a place of work when he's supposed to be in service. That they went to um, her house, the lady's house, and took her goat, stole the animal from the house. The animal, according to them, is, is it has it doesn't leave um, the environment, doesn't leave the home, the place they kept it, but it was stolen. I was in the church and the Lord was showing it to me. But the person who the prophecy was for was not in the church, so I didn't go deeper on it, but I just had to tell them to pray against um, uh, stolen properties. And so that led to so because that good was about to be stolen, that led to me seeing that vision. So there are sometimes what you see is direct. And sometimes when you see it, it's carrying a message. Basically, most at times when you see dove, you see snake, you see a um, lion, you see um, an eagle or a dragon and stuff like that, they are passing a message. You see a raven. A raven is also passing a message. It means is uh, the person is entering a season of supernatural supplies, a season where even even if famine is existing in the place, God is about to provide mysteriously for the person, just like the way the raven provided for Elijah. Okay, okay you can see that. You can see uh, you see the case of lion. Lion is the the, the is regarded as um, the king of the jungle or stuff like that. You see eagles, they are known for their uh, specific uh, or their sharpness in sight. And eagles means it, it, it depicts the prophetic. It depicts the prophetic most of the times, all right? So there are a lot of things. There are a lot of things that are. So when you see a scattered message, you make sure to arrange before you give the prophecy. Or you can even say it as it is, and then you give the explanation, all right? You say it as it is and you give the explanation. I remember I was given a prophecy one time and I saw a symbol in the spirit. And this symbol is a very ancient symbol. Alright, I had to give the symbol as it was, explain the symbol, describe the symbol and, begin, and then explanation began to come. Alright, so that is how the prophetic is. Sometimes it's not going to come straight. It's going to lose scattered. There are sometimes names will be scattered. You see one name passing, you will see just a later passing. Sometimes you just see a later passing. Sometimes there are a lot of ways the prophetic can happen. All right, but just be open to receive it. And when you receive it, don't be confused. Say what you see. Don't keep it. Say what you see. If you don't know the meaning, release it the way it is. Are you hearing me? Yes. Release it the way it is. And the Lord will through there begin to manifest. I hear what I'm saying. Yeah. So, if you can do it like that, God is going to use you in a greater dimension. Uh, my sons that ask that question, I hope you are clear with that. And also, those that are meaning to ask the question before now or are having this experience, but they don't know how to arrange these things. Uh, uh, they don't know how to go about it all this way. All you need to do is to make the arrangement first before you prophesy. Or you give it and you give meaning to it. All these animals, they have their significance meaning. All right. So as the Lord leave it, and as time goes on, I'm going to uh, make more videos on some other things that could appear that has their own separate meaning. Okay. And then um, let me also address those that are, are hungry and um, thirsty of seeing angels and stuff. Now, wanting to see angels is very good. All right. But your hunger should not be in the part of just seeing angels there is more to just seeing angels sorry there was a distraction from um, some messages and uh, that are coming to my phone all right i think it's time to get a camera um like i was saying before that your focus majorly should not be on just having or having an angelic vision on a counter an encounter is useless if it carries no message an encounter is of no value if it carries no message are you hearing me so your focus should be on the message divinity have to offer to you for the people or to you 
than just receiving seeing an angel imagine now uh, the angel coming to jacob and the angel living without giving jacob anything jacob realized that if the angel go is a waste of time it's a waste of time and then that is why uh, some of, some persons we said i've heard people said that we we had social encounter we visit uh, social thing came being came and uh, i have encounter with social so, and yet we are not seeing the evidence is because an encounter without a message is a mess an encounter without a message is of no use so your focus should be on the on the message and you are going to have encounter so that when these heavenly beings these divine beings come they will come with a message all right when they come they come with a message your focus should not be on seeing angel your focus is hearing the voice of god and being able to know what god is saying per time because for an angel to come is coming to pass a message and if you cannot receive the message it's a problem and then another thing i want to add to this question is that not every time angels come or you have an angelic encounter that the angel will speak but most of the time they don't even speak their presence carries the message but if you are too carried away by by the shock of their presence you will lose the message the angel the the the, the, the robe the angel is wearing when it came depicts the message the angel came with the the what the, the color of what the angel is wearing it's not all angels that are wear that wears white all right there are angels that wears blue the color of of the raiment is blue some the color is red some the color is yellow some the color is pink some the color so there are different colors so when they come sometimes their color alone is what carries the message i'll be in some service and uh, i'll see angel angel in blue will just come i know that in that service there's about to be miracle money now people are about to receive supernatural financial favor you see the angel on white it depicts that there are people that still need to get close to god in holiness before doors will open for them and and it also depicts that the glory of god is about to be set in the heart of men so when during the prophecy you will see those people will begin to locate them all right so you see different when an angel is coming and it comes with red it means that day is, is a judgmental day is a day of judgment as a prophet you know that you should go in that line of judgment that day so there are different so that is you need to know these things sometimes you can see the angel in in, in golden color it means god is about to place royalty on people about to remove shame and place royalty all right so that is how you give certain explanation to the prophetic so the prophetic is broad and vast and wide so I told you that there are a lot of things we still talk on. And so uh, just make sure you stay connected and make sure you are practicing. Make sure you are following all the teachings and follow it very well. All right. The Lord is going to increase you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is going to increase you. The Lord is going to cause his face to shine upon you. And when you are praying, also make sure to remind God that let the grace that is speaking upon me begin to speak for you let be, be praying and ask god to connect you to this prophetic anointing he's going to do it so make sure you just use every right means to get connected and you will enjoy the grace the prophetic is going to speak in your life in the mighty name of jesus i release grace in the 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 name of jesus somebody financially you have been down you are a minister but financially there is a lot of financial crisis that is happening around you the lord is about to turn your story around i saw i saw the word fresh there's about to be fresh grace for financial favor in the mighty name of jesus i release grace upon you grace will speak in your ministry in jesus mighty name god bless you